Hello everyone, I'm going to present to you a demonstration on STILA, which is a learning analytics tool for supporting teaching intervention. This is mainly to assist the instructors to perform student monitoring based on learning analytics. There are several objectives of STILA, which are first to identify students' learning engagements weekly based on the events that the instructor have created in the LMS, the learning management system. Second is to identify the student performance in this, according to the CPS, whether they have strength or weakness in each of the CPS. Third is to categorize the student's learning preferences based on their temporal access to the LMS. To identify the students who are below or above class average, to identify relationship between the access to the LMS uh, with their performance and to recommend the learning interventions based on the student's performance in the CPS. This course has, uh, the STILA has been built based on the course on data mining in FSK, FSKTM and developed using Power BI, Microsoft Excel, Rapid Miner, and PyTet. And there are five um, dashboard pages altogether. Uh, now on the screen, you can see this is the first, uh, this is the welcoming page to STILA. This is the first page. It shows the uh, distribution of the um, learning events that has been participated by students in each week. You can take your cursor uh, to, sh to go to any week and you can see that from this um, diagram, we can see that students has highest access in week five and mainly they have access the forum as well as the uh, assignment um, and the remaining so just uh, take your cursor through so you'll be able to read what is being visualized on the left this is the top 10 event context popularity based on their access uh, in the um, lms you can see that this is quite typical the number of access uh, to the quizzes are much higher compared to the uh, other kinds of activities. We can use this drop down button to select certain student uh, to see how are their access. And we can see this student had no access between week seven to week nine, mainly because this is um, mid term break uh, duration and change the student who you want to drill down further. In the next um, dashboard, uh, this one shows the relationship between the average of the weekly access for, of each student to the final marks. So the dotted lines here, the shaded uh, line graph shows the final marks. We can see the student who has gotten the highest mark, which is 90 in the course, have access above average, uh, which is about 38 uh, times average uh, to the content in the LMS and so on. So just uh, take your cursor through. The bottom side shows the student who have access below the average and who have access above average. Let us first look at the students who have access above average. There are 17 students who have access above average. And we can see that their marks are quite good from 90 and uh, the lowest is uh, 71.95. Uh, but these students have access above average. Students who have access below average. This has the, uh, the content here has been sorted according to the student who has the um, lowest mark. So student number 39 have the lowest mark, which is 71.3 and have the um, access below average. So specifically student number 39, as we show here, access at least 11 times to the course and he gotten the lowest mark, which is 71%. But the student, uh, the, the student who have access below average, the highest mark that this student in the group 
uh, managed to score is 88.57%. So, um, student 3. From this, we as an instructor, we can do several things. For example, to identify whether the approach that we use to uh, score the student um, can be continued for the next semester. Uh, for us to identify also whether there is a pattern correlation between the student who has high access with their uh, performance. However, we need to be careful of other considerations like their challenge to access the system, avail availability of infrastructure, and other relevant matters. The next dashboard identifies students who has strength, uh, who has the, the students based on their strength. For example, student number 13, 14, and 15, and all the students which are grouped here, according to their marks, they have the highest marks in psychomotor compared to the other CPS skills uh, that the course have um, stated. In the second group also, we can see these students, 18 students here, have high affective and cognitive skill, whereas five students only have average cognitive and psychomotor with low affective skill. So these are the students that we need to be able to um, focus and assist further. By comparing and uh, read, by try to uh, drill further, whether student number 19, we can click it, student number 19, to see his or her performance, where at this part we can see that this student number 19 is a night owl, always access at night and we can see also student number 21 here also a night hour so this way we can use statement like this to suggest to the students to give more effort to access the course content as early as possible because it also shows that the student has lower interest in the course compared to other people who access in the morning because the content of because the course is conducted in the morning. And this student have um, effective score of 7.8 compared to the other score where the student has a higher performance. We can uh, utilize also the information here for student number 19. So let us go to see student number 19. Student number 19 here yeah, or we can check we can change here but it will take a bit of time student number 19 is here has uh, access above average but only got um 78.1 percent so these are the things that we can use from the dashboard to be able to drill down and understand our students further regarding their effort in learning, regarding their strength in CPS and regarding their temporal behavior. The next dashboard shows the students, um, each of the student, whether they are below or above average in each of the CPS. So for example, if you choose student number 19, we can go to student number 19, let's say, this student we want to help further. This student is below average for affective, for cognitive, and for uh, psychomotor. So that means the student really needs help. And Stila guides you on which students need help and which part exactly that the student needs attention. The final dashboard is showing the um, recommendation based on each of the students' performance. For example, if they are weak in effective, so the recommendation is to work on um, collaborative learning with their peers through body system. If they are strong in psychomotor, but not really strong in cognitive and effective, 
So uh, suitable activity may be to have a group revision with some post-test review. Um, so these are all the um, scope that Stila has. Thank you for your attention.